Hello! What's going on guys? Welcome to today's live stream. How is everybody doing? It is Monday. I got some food here. Good doing business with ya. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Ah, this is hot. <laughs> Shit. Um, what's up? Um, yeah, so it's Monday. Um, rest day. It's been pretty chill. Uh, I'm actually filming uh, a full day of what I do, which is lots of nothing <laughs> during the day. Um, yeah, which I do have... Uh, see where this camera's at <laughs> gotta get uh, gotta get everything see we're gonna have that so people see uh, yeah I do a live stream it's part of my day um, so anyways here we are um, 17 weeks out basically um, but yeah getting the end meal four here I can't hold it it's hot I need to shut this camera off now It's hot in here. Um, let's see what uh, what can I report on for you guys? We are one week away from the Indie Pro. The Indie Pro is this weekend. Uh, for any anybody curious, I will be live streaming that here. We will basically be doing, this will be the format. Um, you know, you guys know, those of you that have been here uh, plenty of times, you guys know that I can, you know, share uh, share my screen. Um, you know, if you came and watched the Olympia with me, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, there, back when we did that, I had a little window that I would open randomly like this, you know, if... If whoever important was posing, like, um, you know, when, say, like, Blessing comes out, everybody's going to be really interested interested in seeing what he looks like. I'll bring his, I'll bring the screen up so you guys can see it. The thing is, I can't just, I can't let it play, I can't let it play outright. I can't just show you guys the whole show because that's how you get your uh, YouTube channel shut down. So I can show you, like, you know, 15, 10 second clips here and there, and then, you know, take it away between between competitors and whatever and just show you guys the important things and, and, you know, report what I'm seeing and my thoughts on it, and we can have a nice little chat over here. So that's going on this weekend. I'll be doing that. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell on here so that you know when my live stream starts. Um, but yeah, we're doing that this weekend and then the New York Pro next weekend which is going to be pretty exciting. Um, you know, a, a lot of people are talking about Blessing in his big mouth and how that's going to go. I don't think it's going to go well for him. <laughs> I think it's going to draw a lot of people to wanting to watch it. Um, so it's very, it's very important to me that, you know, I do something for it because a lot of people are going to be wanting to see how he looks. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's going to do very good. I mean, based on his most recent, his most recent, um, you know, progress pictures. Like, I mean, he, he, he looks amazing. Let's, let's just say that, you know, he, he certainly beats the shit out of me. But, um, I mean, we, we compared to other bodybuilders, um, 
it's, uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. You know, I mean, like looking at like his upper body, his upper back, especially is, is, uh, incredible. I mean, very, very incredible. <sighs> the issue though is, is whether or not, um, whether or not his legs, like he, he never shows from the front. Like you guys can see, uh, let me bring this down a little bit. You guys can see, you know, he never shows like straight on from the front. He just keeps showing the side and yeah, sure. The side looks good, but you can definitely see that, you know, whoops. <laughs> you can definitely see that he's like lacking in the, uh, in the hamstrings here. Like his quad is, is way overpowering the hamstring. But even then, like, his, his quads just don't match his upper body. Like, his legs, like, just do not match his upper body. I mean, but that's that's not to take away from the fact that the dude does look amazing. Like, he is, he is you know, <laughs> definitely very good. But, you know, when it comes down to judging the elite athletes, I mean, unfortunately, like... His legs are just too small for the rest of his body, you know? Like, his back is amazing. Like, his back is really awesome. Like, that's that's super cool. But, yeah, I think that's what's going to uh, kind of screw him over, is that his legs aren't, aren't the best, you know? Um, but, I, I mean, even, even compared to... Th like, this looks very similar to, to this one. Even if that's an old photo or an old video... Like, this looks very comparable to <laughs> to that one. Um, and the fact that he's not really showing a whole lot, it's, uh, you know, everybody keeps saying, like, let's see him straight on in the front, and he, he just, he's not going to show it. I mean, probably because there's something definitely lacking there. Or, or he wants to surprise the shit out of everybody. But even, like, looking at this video... Like, it, his hamstrings are just not enough. Like, I mean, and, and then you look at this, and it's like, yeah, his hamstrings are definitely not enough. You know? Like, sure, they are very good. But when you put him up against, um, you know, Hassan Mustafa, Nick Walker, Justin Rodriguez, like, I think it's going to be very apparent um, that his legs are lacking seriously so it looks like this this picture here it looks like he has it he has it like tilted <laughs> I would not be surprised if he did that it looks here, let me bring it back up it looks like it looks like ah oh shit I can't move it out of the way it looks like he, he took a picture and then he tilted the photo so that it would make his legs look bigger because in this photo his legs look bigger than his upper body it looks morphed. It looks it looks screwed up. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see this weekend. So, you know, like I said, uh, come by the channel um, this weekend and uh, we'll watch it. We'll see what's going on with him and, uh, you know, how everything looks and see how he compares. Um, yeah, it'll be, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's, that's this weekend. I'm really excited to watch that. Um, and then next weekend's the New York Pro, which, you know, I think that's going to be even more exciting. And, uh, I'm going to be getting a lot of flack from Laura about it. Um... She's not happy with me last night because uh, her her brother's 40th birthday <clears throat> is next weekend, and they live in Michigan. She wants to go to Michigan because they're having like a little like barbecue get together thing for his birthday. And I told her I was like I I can't miss this. <laughs> I can't I can't not. I can't, I, I can't miss it. I can't not do a live stream for this show. Like, we've been waiting on, sh like, I said, I haven't been able to live stream a show in six months. And she, because there hasn't been any shows, you know? And, uh, 
she had trouble understanding that. So, anyways, um, what's going on with you guys? Uh, D ball and Tren, good combo or not? Uh, personally, I wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, that, like I've heard of people doing it. I think that this is something that a lot of uh, power lifters tend to do. Um, but personally, I would not be doing it. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's not something that I would do. Mostly because, like, I feel like D-ball is something that people typically use when they're trying to grow. And personally, I don't use any orals when trying to grow because it makes it harder to eat. Um, so, I don't know. To me, they seem to be, like, conflicting products. You know, like, trying to do two opposite things at the same time with them. Like, Trend does help with strength a lot because, you know, it, uh, it, it definitely hits you on a nervous system level so that you can contract more muscle fibers. Um, so it's very good at that. So yeah, like I said, this is, this is typically a combination that power lifters will go with for strength. Um, but yeah, so you won't see me doing that. Also is rotisserie chicken good or does it have way too much fat? Uh, you know, when you're, when you're trying to be as correct as possible, as accurate as possible with your food, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the risk of, of doing that. Um, because yeah, they, there definitely is going to be way more fat in rotisserie chicken um, you know, not much, but still, like, if you're really trying to be accurate, I would probably just cook my own food, but, I mean, that's, that's me, if you're just, like, an average guy trying to get in shape or whatever and get some protein in, then I think it would be okay, but, you know, if you're trying to be as accurate as possible with what you're doing, you're gonna be better off not doing it that way. Debating if bloods come back looking good to start next cycle. Stopped injecting completely on March 16th. Cruise began March 25th till current. Given everything looks normal, would it be bad to jump on early? Um... Uh, you, you stopped at 316 and we are at April I mean 316 that's one two three four five six I mean on tomorrow you'll be four weeks on cruise you know four weeks since your cycle stopped or, or, or not four, seven, seven. On the fourth is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven weeks um, from when your cycle stopped. I would say that that's, that should be plenty of time for your bloods to get back in range, especially if you're like trying to really push the boundaries and try to make some serious progress. You know, in those situations, you kind of want to cruise as little as possible. Um, you know, cruise enough to get blood work back that is good. I mean, my last two cruises were five to six weeks. And Jordan, you know, wanted to see my blood prep, my, 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 blood, uh, my blood work at that time. 
And, you know, I would get it, send it to him, and, you know, everything always looked good, and he would be like, all right, if you want to start the next cycle, we are good to go. So, then I would begin. Um, so, yeah, seven weeks. I think that's plenty of time. Um, just keep in mind, though, you know, if health is your priority, being as 100% safe and as healthy as possible, the general rule of thumb is to cruise as long as you are on cycle. Um, that way you'll have lots of time where your blood work looks very good and give everything plenty of time to heal and recover. Um, but, again, if your goal is, like, competing in some way, you know, then that's, that's uh, something that you'll have to kind of skimp out on, but that's completely your decision. Uh, my online source has changed to Bitcoin for payment, which I'm not keen on. Are you familiar with Bitcoin? Yes. And is it safe? As it seems a lot of messing about to me. It's very safe. It's very simple. I've made a video about this in the past on how to send Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency in general is a very legit thing. If any of you are paying attention to crypto currently, Ethereum, which is not Bitcoin, but it is a crypto, is at an all-time high of like $3,200 or some shit, which is good for me <laughs> um, because I mine Ethereum and it is doing very well right now and I'm very, uh, huh, very happy about that. But uh, to go back to your question about Bitcoin and sending, sending, uh, sending Bitcoin, um, I made a video about this. Um, if you just search Bitcoin and my name, Chase Irons, first video will pop up. Let me show you real quick. Where is it? This video here at the top. What app and how to buy and send Bitcoin? Personally, I use Cash App. It's, it's extremely easy to use. Very quick, very simple. But yeah, I use Cash App for that. So, um... That's what I use. Watch this video. It'll just kind of run through it really quick. Um, it's very easy. And that's, uh, that's it. That's what I use. Injectable oil carnitine is crazy. Third day at 1500 a day. That'll do it. Are you noticing increased appetite with EQ or any other effects? No. Uh, my appetite... I mean, I've been on this current cycle for going on eight weeks now, and I feel fine. My appetite is very much under control. I mean, the amount of food that I'm still eating is high enough that I'm I'm not hungry. You know, I eat when I need to eat, but I'm not I'm not hungry at all. So. What are you eating? This is rice with fish and olive oil. I need to get this meal down, so give me a second. Then we'll start hitting timestamps.
sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm almost done. I just really need to eat this now. Almost done. Let's uh, <clears throat> get some timestamps going. <sighs> Primo. Increase free test and reduces SHBG. Um, the thing about your question, or what you're saying is, um, when SHBG is lowered, free test goes up. Um... Pinning, doing your injections of whatever you're injecting. Injecting often lowers SHB, SHBG and raises free testosterone. Because the lower your SHBG, the higher your free test. Because SHBG attaches to testosterone. Sorry. <laughs> so the less you have, the less of that you have, the more free test. The more free test is... Uh, the more test is available. So, Primo would not be a reason to specifically do that. Um, <clears throat> because if that's your goal, if that's your main goal, is to lower SHBG and increase free test, and a much easier way to go about doing that, that's not going to be drug-related, would be just using boron. Taking three grams of boron first thing in the morning and three, three grams of boron at night can lower SHBG and increase free test uh, very well. So yeah, don't think that Primo is the way to go about doing that. So if you want to increase your free testosterone, you should be doing your injections often because that will lower your SHBG. Whereas if you spread out your shots, your SHBG will be high and your free test will be lower. As long as you've ever run Trend over a year, I don't recommend it. Just, it's not worth it. <laughs> Definitely could have done things a lot uh, more intelligent, made a lot more progress, but I didn't know what I was doing at the time. You know, that was like seven or eight years ago that I did that. And yeah, it's just, it's not worth it. So definitely want to make sure everything is in range, especially blood pressure. Big Money says, big arms, big paychecks. Is that true? I would say yes. Do you find recovering from sickness is much worse being on gear? No. When someone in the house gets a cold, they seem to get over it in a day or two while well, it lasts weeks for me. That is probably just you. <laughs> um, I get, I don't get sick very often. Okay, I can't. The last time that I remember getting sick was probably two or three years ago around Christmas. because we were supposed to go to Michigan and I was so sick, I, I couldn't, I couldn't leave. So we had to wait a couple extra days, um, but I wasn't sick that long. It was kind of like a 48 hour type thing. So no, I disagree with what you're saying. I would say that it would be individual to you because I have not experienced that at all. Will the homebrew membership get any more expensive than now? I don't know, man. <laughs> Depends on how things go. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's all about supply and demand, right? You know, it's...
yeah, <laughs> possibly. So, I mean, if you don't, you, the thing is, dude, like, you want to buy it, but you don't have the money right now. Like, but it, it's it's fifty dollars. Like, you should not be. You should not be making life decisions, you know, on whether or not you want to buy steroid information or not, you know. Um, yeah, I, I... If it were me in that situation, in your situation, I, I would just wait until I'm more financially stable before putting money into something like that, you know? Because, like, something you need to understand is when you're homebrewing, you are going to be purchasing things, um... purchasing things uh, from China and you know this has never happened to me but that doesn't mean that it can't happen if you put money into that that you can't really risk losing you know like you need that to go through and something happens where get your, your product gets seized you don't get it like you just lost that money there's no getting around it. You can't, like, who who are you gonna tell? You can't. You can't be like they. They didn't send me my product. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, the money you spend on this should be money that you are 100% going to be okay with losing. You know, you should. You should be purchasing these things with. You know, of, of course you don't want this to happen, but it's the way you need to go about thinking it. It's like you're sending this money to a complete stranger. They could totally rip you off, and there is nothing that you could do about it. That being said, I have not gotten ripped off yet. So, um, but it certainly could happen. It could happen at any time. It could happen at any time, you know? Like, it's a risk to do it. So don't, don't spend money that you're not okay with losing. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> that's it. You know. Could you read my email I sent to you about how I intend... to experiment with L-carnitine so you could critique it? Um... I did read it. Maybe others think the same way that I do. <laughs> I mean, Angelo, you're, you're talking about um, an amino acid. <laughs> uh, you're, you're talking about a, a product that is legal and not harmful to us in any way. That's not like a steroid. Um, in your email, you mentioned that you wanted to do more of a low-dose long-term instead of like high dose short term that being said like i would i would agree with you if we were talking about testosterone or you know doing a 16 to 20 week cycle as opposed to an 8 to 12 week cycle of steroids but when it comes to l-carnitine which is an amino acid you can run high dose for as long as you want it's an amino acid like you can you can like you know you what's his name up here said 1500 milligrams a day he could run that for an entire year straight like he could he could do that as long as he wanted to you know like i think you were talking about like 700 milligrams or something like that daily or or every other day or whatever um i mean it's not it's not how I would do it, and it's not how I've done it. And uh, I feel that if you want 
the most bang for your buck out of it. As I said before, most people that use injectable L-carnitine, most people that use injectable L-carnitine prefer a dose of 1,000 milligrams every day for as long as they want. 1,000 milligrams seems to be what I am hearing back from people that they like. You know, a lot of people do regardless of body weight. You know, like, I, I mean, I made videos talking about the general rule of thumb where you wanted to do um, 200 milligrams per 55 pounds of body weight. And it seems like, you know, the more people that I've had communicating with me about this, the more that I've realized that it doesn't matter. Most people tend to gravitate towards just wanting to do a thousand milligrams every single day because they feel amazing on it and see results on it. Um, so I don't think you're looking at it. I think you're looking at it more as like if it were a steroid, but it's not, it's an amino acid, you know? So yeah, it, it's, it's extremely safe. You can run the dog shit out of it for a very long time. Like I've, I, the only side effect I've ever seen from it in running it for a very long time is when I tried doing 3000 milligrams daily, I got slight insomnia and that went away as soon as I reduced my dose down to 2000 milligrams daily. And then the only reason that I dropped it back down to a thousand was because this is a pain in the ass doing all the injections to do 2000 or more, you know? So yeah, I, I think you're just, you're, you're treating it like it's a steroid, like it's a hormonal thing that can cause damage if you're using too much for too long. And uh, it, it's not, it's not something that we really need to worry about. So if it were me, if I were you, I would do what I did. Well, for the most part, and just run a thousand straight through, you know, um, a lot of people start off with the loading phase at a thousand milligrams. And then they'll drop down to the minimum dose of 500. And then from there, it's your choice. Like if you drop to 500 and you notice that there's a decrease in performance and you want that performance back, well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with bumping back up to a thousand and continuing to run it for as long as your heart desires. So yeah, um, that's my critique of your idea about it. I think you're overthinking it. Um, yeah, use it until you get your desired result and reach your desired goal and I would say use it at a point that's going to be uh, use it in an amount that's going to be an effect an effective dose because again like the difference between 500 and a thousand is huge like you'll definitely notice a difference it's just like the difference between a thousand and fifteen hundred it's another like every 500 milligrams you go up you'll notice something else, something more from it. Um, so sure you need to, you know, what you're saying there regards to cost over time. I mean, it's kind of the same as HGH use as much as you can afford, you know, um, if you can afford to run it at a thousand milligrams daily, if you can afford to run it at 1500, if you can afford to run it at 2000 for 16 weeks, go for it, you know, um, so, yeah, I mean, you can, like, if you want to skip off days, go ahead. But you, I, I would say, you know, that's your choice. I wouldn't do it that way. And that's just me. So, um, because there is an effect. Like, yes, it does build up in your system over time. That's why there's the whole loading phase. But there is an immediate effect when it's injected. There is, you know, the, the few hours after you inject it, there is something going on that I don't exactly understand that causes 
more of a uh, almost like a stimulant effect um, so yeah that's uh, that's that use as much as you can afford you know for as long as you want to um, and I mean the thing is when you stop it like, there's no rebound <laughs> there's no rebound effect like once you stop it it's like okay you're, you're done and you go on doing things the way you were like once you reach your goal of you know if you're trying to get lean which I would assume most people that are using L-carnitine are once you get lean you can stop it and continue on with your diet and you know not have to use it anymore uh, it's not something that you need to keep running it's not something that you know you get addicted to running um, because I've stopped and started it back up and stopped a couple times and yeah, it's, there's definitely a noticeable effect when using it pre-workout. So, <laughs> is the membership worth getting for Canadians? Sure. The only thing for Canadians is I probably won't have a domestic source for you, so you'll have to rely on the international sources. This is the best mukbang channel. <laughs> Always been a big component of brown rice, big component of brown rice. What's your opinion, brown or white? Well, I have not had brown rice in an extremely long time. Um, I haven't had brown rice in forever. I, I can't remember the last time I had brown rice. And I prefer not to have brown rice because it digests slower and it has more fiber in it. And I'm not really a fan of fiber, which I know a lot of you guys had your minds blown the other day when I said I don't have any vegetables. <laughs> um, I don't. The, the, the vegetables that I have are... On rest days, I have potatoes for one meal. And that's it. Otherwise, I have blueberries and pineapple for, you know, other kind of micronutrient foods. Um, but on training days, there are no vegetables at all. And there's a banana pre-workout, and that's it. So, um, I'm not a fan of fiber. I don't think that it's necessary. A lot of people are like, well, if I don't have fiber, I can't poop. Mm, no, no broccoli. I, I literally just told you, I do not. I, I That kind of stuff I can bring in, I would imagine, once I start eating less, because like this was a this was a full bowl. Like if I added vegetables to that, I would be fucking stuffed. And I don't want to be stuffed because I would just get bloated if I was, you know, doing that. So fi fiber's not necessary, not at all. It's necessary to help keep you full if your meals are smaller. So I imagine once I, we start reducing carbs as we get closer, sure, I'll start to include more vegetables just to help keep me full. But if you don't need them, you don't need them. And a lot of, like I was going into earlier, like people saying they don't poop when they don't have fiber. Think of it this way. Um, if you're eating nothing but food that can be completely digested and absorbed for the most part, how much are you actually going to be crapping? Like, if, you, if you're eating foods that your body digests extremely well and absorbs extremely well, like, yes, I still crap one to two times a day. I don't know, I don't know what it, what it is. <laughs> um, because, like I said, pretty much everything that I eat can be fully absorbed. The only things would be the fruits and the potatoes. But like I said, it's one meal of potatoes on rest days and fruits you know, a couple of meals that have a little bit of fruit in them on rest days and one meal that has a half a banana on training days. And I crap normally. So, um, 
yeah, my thought process is, is if somebody switches over from eating lots of fiber to no fiber, you're probably going to see a reduction in the amount that you're crapping because the volume of food that's going to be inside your body is going to shrink because you don't have all that fiber going through you. And it might take a few days for a, an actual amount of crap to build up that you can, you know, excrete. So, but yeah, people, people bring that up like, I'm not crapping as much as I used to. It's like, well, you're not eating as much shit as you used to, you know? Like, what are you... What do you what do you expect to be coming out of you if you're eating, you know, chicken, white rice, cereal, whey protein, um, yogurt, um, what else? Eggs, beef. Like you're eating things that your body can absorb very well. What what is left for you to crap out? What do you think crap is made of? Like your body just magically. It's not fat, <laughs> so... Well, I mean, a little bit of fat's end up getting through there, but it's not like your body's, like, pulling shit from under your tissues and and it goes to your intestines and you push it out. Like, no, it, it, it comes from your food that you're eating. If you're eating a lot of bullshit, you're going to be shitting a lot of bullshit. So think about it like that. If you're not eating a lot of crap, you're not going to crap very much. What did you say down here? Oh, sorry. Somebody said something. Oh, wouldn't you feel more satisfied? Wouldn't you feel more satisfied eating brown rice? I like white rice more, but thinking of switching to brown rice when in a, brown rice when in a deficit. I mean, would you? I mean, the volume of food is still the exact same. I think the only thing that you would feel is more bloated because you have more fiber in your stomach and bloat is you know not something that we want especially when you're getting deep into a diet so would you feel more satiated yeah not necessarily it's the same same volume of food so uh, my friends Last gift he gave me before he moved away was a bottle of SARMs. How do you suggest I take them? Um, I know you're just uh, wanting me to tell you to shove them up your ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just pop the bottle, stick the tip in your butthole, do a handstand, let them all fall in there. Um, are you on T4, T3 year-round because you don't naturally produce it? I do naturally produce it. <laughs> also, wouldn't high amounts of GH reduce T4? Yes, it does, but that doesn't mean that it completely depletes T4. Um, my body makes T4 and T3 just fine. So, congrats on another idiot statement. <laughs> do you mean milligrams or grams for boron? I believe it's milligrams. I think. I don't know. I haven't taken boron, boron in a while. Let me look. Um, let me double check. Maybe it is three grams. No, no, it's milligrams. It's right here. Um, let me bring it up. Right here. Yeah, I would do one of these pills in the morning and one at night, and they are three milligrams. So. Whoops. Clicking the wrong shit. Let's see, I'm bringing that there. Yeah, no, it is definitely three milligrams. Crashed gear tips, how to fix. That is uh, information for members there, buddy, and you're not a member. That being said, if your gear does crash, I will say you can reheat it. That's like the easiest way to try to fix it, and if that doesn't fix it, then you're gonna have to do some home brewing to fix it. What role slash difference slash importance has adding HGH protocol stack? 
how much importance has it played in progressing and advancing your physique? I would say 5%. It's helped out 5%, adding it into everything else. 5% in helping maintain muscle. 5% strength increase, 5% um, leaner, not body, not 5% body fat, but you know what I mean. It's very marginal. It's not, it's not a life changing thing. Um, thing is when you are 100% doing everything else and you add in 5% gains from HGH and then you add in another 5% progress from you know, something like insulin and you add in another 5% from you know other products they add up they all stack up and add together and give you that much more because you know adding one thing is not going to really do a whole lot unless it's stacked together with other things you know it's like a lot of people talk about mixing um, steroids and HGH together it's like 1 plus 1 equals 3 or adding HGH and insulin together, one plus one equals three. You know, alone, it doesn't do a whole lot. Mixed with other things, it can add up. My, my advice is if you aren't competing, you don't need it. best way to mitigate debilitating lower back pumps taurine if you have terrible back pumps taurine is only going to do so much the bottom line is, is you need to keep putting your back in that kind of a situation so that it will grow and get stronger and be resilient to that feeling bottom line is you just need more time to grow and let your lower back get stronger so that it's not kicking your ass taurine it might help a little bit, but it's not going to take it away. Can low SHBG cause ED? Well, you certainly don't want it too low. You still want it in range. You don't want to go out of range. Can it cause ED? Um, maybe. I honestly, I honestly don't know. I've never looked into it, so I don't know. What makes... What mistakes do most make when training shoulders? Doing exercises that have way too much risk as opposed to benefit. Like doing behind the head, behind the neck overhead presses. The risk to reward there is not good. Um, doing upright rows, the risk to reward there is not that good. It's very hard on the rotator cuff, can really screw up a rotator cuff. So, yeah. Hello, sir. I get your point. Well, more in regards to cost. Home brewing, it really is the way to go. You'll go broke otherwise and it's nice to not have to stress about how much you're using or running out yes that's what i'm thinking so i wanted to try some from chase first before i attempted it myself do you think all bodybuilders should have some sort of abs in the off season while bulking yes anything past that could you argue you bulk too far yes you should always have some sort of abs viewable for bodybuilding if you do not you've gone too far um, just to give you guys an example of uh, this thing working of you know where I went with mine my last bulk which was late last year um, Here's my Instagram. This was the heaviest that I got, was right here. 
um, this this picture here. This is the heaviest that I got. This is the the as fat as I got. You know, of course, this is pumped post workout. Why isn't this working? <laughs> Come on, there we go. This was pumped post workout, but you know, abs are clear. Like, this is this is the max that we took um, my bulk. So this is where it ended. Um, yeah. So that's that. I would say if you go to beyond that, where you can't see the outline of your abs, you should either be cutting. Yeah, you should just be cutting. I mean, that's 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 the general rule. If you can't see them, you need to be cutting. Uh, do you ever run keto diet while on cycle? No. Do you think it's cool to use half EQ and sip on a cruise? No. I do not. You're cruising. You should not be using anything except for testosterone, unless you are a professional competing bodybuilder that doesn't mind putting health at risk and is trying to make lots of money off your physique. Otherwise, no, it's stupid. When you feel, oh, I already heard that. Uh, I don't know if you cover this in any of your homebrewing stuff, but what oil do you like to use is best to use for your test and why? I've used every oil out there. I've used, I've made gear with olive oil, I've made gear with grapeseed oil, I've made gear with safflower oil, I've made gear with sesame oil, i made it with everything. It, does, it doesn't matter. Pick the one that you're not allergic to, and the one that you like the most. Personally, I prefer MCT oil, but lots of people don't like it. So that's going to be something that's up to you. There's a reason Asians don't eat brown rice. Do you give out source when buying your membership? Of course. What do you think about injectable choline chloride pre-workout? I see that Victor Black recommends it. Um, I don't use it, and I don't think that it's necessary. You should have timestamp your responses to my question. It was full of great info and why I asked it. You want to do my timestamps for me? I will pay you in in thumbs ups. What is your favorite growth hormone? Sizan. It is the best. Best sources of calcium. Greek yogurt. Why do you think some people associate Masteron with cutting only and not bulking? I see so many benefits of it in the off season. What do you think? Um, because a lot of people are idiots. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. A lot of people think that they need to use certain compounds for bulking and certain compounds for cutting when in reality it's more about your diet and your deficit but people want to believe that it's all about the drugs you take and that's why there are so many fat people that are on steroids that don't know what they're doing um, I used master on during that bulk where I just showed you that picture um, I mean for that bulk I was on what was I on 500 test 400 NPP 300 master on for that bulk. Currently for my cycle, I'm including test, NPP, Primo, EQ, and Masteron for my cut. Basically all the same drugs plus a couple that I was on for my bulk. So, what are the downsides of using AIs? Do they affect the heart? The downsides of using AIs is that they 
are terrible for your cholesterol. They lower your HDL. The lower your estrogen goes, the lower your HDL goes. Um, um, taking AIs will lower your sex drive uh, because your sex drive is kind of dependent on your estrogen level. If you have high estrogen, you have high sex drive, high libido. If you have low estrogen, you have no sex drive, no libido, and no boners. So, um, some pretty big downsides. <laughs> low, low estrogen is definitely worse than high estrogen. And a lot of people don't understand that until it's happening to them. They're like, I'm having erectile dysfunction. What do I do? I'm using Arimidex and, uh, you know, Aromacin at the same time. What do I do? And it's like, well, you crashed your estrogen, idiot. That's why estrogen is good. <laughs> That's why you need to have some estrogen or you're going to feel like shit. So, yeah. What do you think is your weakest body part? Um, everything. Arms, legs, back, everything. Um, I know you've talked about it in the past, but I can't remember which live stream it was, but what's the lab corp to use for testing blood, liver, kidney? Um, the website is Ulta Labs, Ulta Lab Tests and you get your blood drawn from Quest is what I do, but some people can go to a lab core to get blood drawn. So, and you probably can't remember which live stream because I say it in probably every live stream. <clears throat> use a tanning bed. No, I do not. I haven't been in, I haven't been in a, a tanning bed since before, since before I went to Hawaii. Um, I got in a tanning bed three times in three weeks prior to going to Hawaii. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it was every Tuesday for the three weeks prior to going to Hawaii. So most of the tan came from using Milano Tan 2, which is an injectable tanner that tells your body to create more um, melanin. So your body has more melanin in it, and then when you get in a tanning bed, once it's built up enough, it releases that and you get dark really quick. And then it sticks with you for a while. Um, so, yeah, I haven't used any Milano tan since a week before going to Hawaii. And my last tan was right before going to Hawaii. And I haven't, haven't done either one since. And probably won't until I'll probably do the exact same protocol probably the three weeks leading up to my show or so. Maybe, maybe earlier. Maybe the month before I'll do it, just so I'm not like red <laughs> if I get burned at all. Um, but yeah, like injectable, injectable tanner works very well. Um, yeah, a lot of people use it uh, as a way to prevent cancer, to prevent skin cancer, um, because it prevents you from getting burned. Like that's why I did it before going to Hawaii, so that I could enjoy being out in the sun and not have to worry about getting burnt in the sun. Um, whereas Laura got fucking fried <laughs> in the sun. And she was like making fun of me before it. Like, did you go tanning? She's like, you're going to get skin cancer. I'm like, I'm not burning. There's a difference between getting some sun exposure and getting flat out burnt. 
And then she goes and gets burnt. And then I say, you're going to get skin cancer because you got burnt. And she's like, don't say that. And I was like, it's okay for you to say that about me when I don't go get burnt and I'm getting in a tanning bed. I'm not getting burnt. I get tan to prevent myself from getting burnt. And then you go get burnt and then try to give me shit about it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've been, I've, each year I've used Melanotan for, you know, a, a couple weeks prior to summer just to help build the tan up. And, you know, again, like I was in the tanning bed three times to get like this, um, three times for like 10 minutes. And usually like that would be the timer that they would set. And then I would just, I would get out early most of the time. Um, so very little tanning bed exposure to get extremely dark very quickly. What size needle do you think is best for injections and pain-free? Well, none of them are going to be pain-free. You're always going to feel a little something. Um, probably the most pain-free thing you could use is like a 30 gauge needle. Uh, the only thing is that the higher the gauge, you know, the smaller the needle, um, the harder it is going to be to push whatever you're injecting through that. So that can be, uh, that can kind of be the downside of trying to use a very high gauge needle is that it it's, takes longer to do the injection. Um, I find that 25 gauge is kind of the spot that I like the most. It is relatively pain-free and it's very easy to push a product through it. These are things competitors use but never talk about. How do you use a safe diuretic like hydrochlorothiazide to shred some water if you were holding a lot of water? I wouldn't. You're if you're holding a lot of water, strong chance is that you're not as lean as you thought you were. The less fat you have on your body, the less water you're going to hold. So if you're holding a lot of water, strong chance is you're holding also a lot of fat and you're not as lean as you think you are. So how to reduce water? Get leaner and there won't be near as much fat to hold near as much water. No, I would not use a diuretic at all. I think diuretics, the only place that they're acceptable are for people pre-contest and most, a lot of people are even getting away from diuretics pre-contest because they're just getting more lean instead of trying to rely on diuretics. So, the thing about diuretics and why I don't think that it's a smart choice is because it can be something that is, that can be abused, you know, slightly addictive in the sense that um, people will cheat on their diet. They'll binge on a bunch of crap food and then take diuretics to try to prevent the bloat from coming on after doing that. And what that actually ends up doing is beating the shit out of your kidneys. Like if you if you feel the need to to to, to, to cheat on your diet or whatever, you should uh, you should probably fix your diet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just. It's just not, it's not, it's a slippery slope to go down. And I've been down it. <laughs> I used, uh, I used diazide with, uh, hydrochlorothiazide for a long time. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I did it for a long time because I was, I was struggling with my food. It was probably like seven years ago when I was doing a lot of stupid stuff. Um, I was struggling with food and trying to use a diuretic as kind of a crutch until I figured out how the hell to fix my food because I knew it was wrong. I knew it was bad. 
I knew that I wasn't smart. And uh, because, yeah, it just becomes a slippery slope of you using that to make up for your shitty diet. And in the long run, it can do some serious damage. Um, so, yeah. Um, luckily, my kidney values are all very good now, surprisingly. But, yeah, they are all very good. Goodbye. someone is not losing weight on the scale but strength is increasing and fat is decreasing isn't that a recomp apparently it's not supposed to happen but it's happening to me over the last two months not necessarily um, not necessarily strength can increase for a lot of different reasons not just muscle size increasing typically strength comes more from um, your nervous system getting better at uh, telling more muscles in the right areas to contract as opposed to not. So not necessarily that is happening. Um, yeah, probably a lot of it is uh, more so in your head <laughs> than anything. Um, you know, Unless, of course, you've put on, like, the only way that I would say someone is actually recomping is if they are gaining weight and getting leaner at the same time. Then I would say you are putting on muscle and losing fat. But to just say that your strength is going up and the weight is, the, the scale isn't moving, that's, that's not enough to convince me. I'm looking to get my test levels checked and other hormones checked. What exactly do I tell them that I want? You don't tell anybody you want anything. You don't tell anybody anything. You don't tell anybody anything. What you do is you go to Ulta Lab tests, talk to no one, talk to no doctors, go here, order up, son of a bitch. Go here, order up your tests that you want, and, uh, you know, I don't know, let me see, actually, let me bring this window down and go to my orders, so you guys can see what I order when I get blood work done. Uh, my orders. This doesn't have any private info on it, does it? No, it does all right, so my last order, let me just bring it up for you guys. My last order from these guys, this is what I got. And you just go into the search bar at the top, type in these words, these tests, and uh, yeah, just type them in, add them to the cart. Type it in, add it to the cart. Type it in, add it to the cart. These are the tests that I got. These are what I typically get every single time. Um, the only thing that somebody might want to add to it would be uh, T4, T3, TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Um, that's about it. Uh, this pretty much covers everything that we would want. So, yeah, I mean... That's what I get. That's what I get pretty much every single time. Um, I don't bother with T4 and T3 because they've always been good. I haven't uh, haven't had any reason to question my T4 or T3. So, but yeah, that's what I get. That's everything. And uh, yeah, you should. You should like you know somebody says, "Damn, three hundred seventy-four dollars." I mean. This isn't a cheap hobby. <laughs> like, this is this is necessity. Like, you need you need to get this done. If you don't have that three hundred dollars sitting around to get it done, then 
then start mining <laughs> start mining ethereum you can uh you might be able to you know build up enough ethereum to pay for it in every four months you know just a little advice um 25 gauge, putting that in my notes. Yep. My friend bitches on pizza and Orlistat. What protocol do you think JP will give you during peak week? During peak week, cut the test a lot of orals and diuretics. I don't know, Edgar. If I don't chase you off before then, maybe you'll find out. What's the name of that lab? Ulta Lab Tests. Thoughts on coffee? It's funny you mentioned that. I, I'm so like I'm filming a full day of eating and what I do on a rest day today. And I, while I was making this, I was talking to the camera about how I don't like coffee. I use this as my coffee. This is uh, this is a uh, double tap Redcon One's double tap product, which is basically just caffeine. There's a couple other things in it, but it's it's mostly caffeine. Um, I prefer to have something like this as opposed to coffee because I just I don't like the way that I don't like the way that plain coffee tastes. If I mixed a bunch of shit in it, yeah, it tastes really good. But I mean, I I, I get I get this for free, <laughs> um, and I can mix uh, other other products into this. So like this is double tap um, Moab. Uh, my creatine and what's the other thing? Glutamine. I've got those three things in here, as well as a scoop of EAAs for flavor. Um, but yeah, like I can't do that with coffee. Um, so yeah, I, I don't drink coffee. I, I drink this instead. If I'm losing fat in my comparison picks, but the scale isn't going down, then what is keeping the weight up? My legs did increase two inches, but no, nothing else. I mean, I did see you mention that you're very new, so <laughs> you decided to take that out. Um, if you're very new, that can totally happen as a noob. But thing is, is that's going to stop. <laughs> um, that can definitely happen when you're new, when you go from not training at all, well, you sound pretty new. <laughs> Burn. Um, no, I, I mean, you, uh, oh, you said you're not a newbie. Well, you sound like one. Um, I wouldn't, uh, I mean, it, do you want me to say you're recomping? Either, like, great, good, you're doing it. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Nobody cares, bro. Train harder. <laughs> like, is that what you want to hear? Congrats, you're doing it. It's not going to last very long, and it's not going to get you very big. But, what? Like, again, everybody here in the chat, nobody cares. <laughs> um... Got a discount co code to use on Ulta. There, there's always a discount code on Ulta. So if you go to um, if you go to the website, you can easily find. Let me see if I can find one. JJ, quit being so beta. <laughs> um, what, where is? Shit, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, if you go to... Let me see if I can find where they put uh, whatever. Um, let's see. You can find codes. Um, oh, shit. Oh, here they are. Weekly promotions. View all. Um, well, usually there's just like a straight up 
because, I mean, I guess something else worth noting, it is the start of the month. A lot of companies tend to not put out um, discount codes at the start of the month because, you know, they don't. They're not trying to, like, hit their sales quota right away. Um, shut up, bitch. I don't want you. Get out of here. But, yeah, the, typically there's always, like, a 20% off code somewhere in here. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. There, there's definitely a code somewhere in there. Can I share a source for blood work? Ah, yes, sure. If you live in Utah, like Mason here, um, there are some states that try to... That, that don't allow people to use Ulta Lab tests um, to, to do that. So, yeah, sure, Mason, if you want to share a blood work source, that'd be cool. Did you find one that you can do in uh, out there? What's the difference between the kidney and liver... What's the difference between the kidney and the liver? What pads have the most effect on this? Well, the kidney and the liver are two completely separate organs that have two completely different jobs. Edgar. First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! Any other questions? <laughs> yeah, you did how I went, how I went on the white. What? How I went on the white. What are you talking about? That makes no sense. Tell me something that makes sense. <clears throat> White blood cell bullshit the other day. Just got some more work back today. I didn't see a testosterone level score on the sheet. Um, because it, it, it's in there lumped in with free testosterone and estradiol. Go back and look at it. It's in there. Oh... So, um, somebody sent me an email today that I think would be worth reading to you guys. I don't, uh, this isn't, this isn't anything, um, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not like, I don't want this to be like political or anything like that. It's just something that somebody emailed me that I think is worth sharing with you guys. Like a lot of you know when, uh. A while, I mean, when was it? A month? Two months ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like two months ago, I got I got vaccinated for COVID nineteen, and this isn't this isn't an argument about if you should get vaccinated or not or whatever. Like, I don't care what you do. Um, thing is, is you know, somebody emailed me about um, the fact that he didn't get vaccinated. And that his family didn't get vaccinated. And he was very, uh... Well, I'll, I'll just... Let me... I should timestamp this. <sighs> because... It's kind of sad, honestly. Because he wanted... He, he th was wanting... He was, like, thinking about getting vaccinated. And he didn't. He didn't get his parents vaccinated. He didn't go through with any of it. Um... Again, this is not, I'm not 
trying to convince anybody to do it. I, I just think it's something worth sharing with you guys that a member <clears throat> sent to me. So he said, so when you said about getting the COVID shot, back when I got the COVID shot, I was sharing that I was getting it and blah, blah, blah. He said, I thought about getting it too. I was nervous about it and expressed it with my parents. They have felt the same, scared too. My dad is 70 and my mom is 64. Um, this guy, he's in here all the time too. And I don't know if he's in here right now, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not because of this. <clears throat> he said, my dad is my best friend and my mom is the sweetest woman in the world. I take care of them quite a bit, but I wish I would have followed your lead and had them get it and me. They both contracted COVID and before they knew, I was with them most days, at least some. I ended up getting it too. My dad is doing okay as far as the virus goes now, but my mom is in the ICU on a ventilator on full blast. And they say she most likely has a week to live if they can keep her oxygen up. Now I have a serious tightness in my chest. I can't really breathe more than three to four breaths. And I'm dreading telling my dad I might need to go to the hospital too. He's a mess, and honestly, I'm pretty freaked out too. But I'm going to have to go in because it doesn't seem to be getting better like it did for my dad. I'm telling you this because I don't want another person to ever go through what we're going through if I can help it. So if you could, maybe stress to your followers how quickly it all can destroy everything. Because it's all just stories until it's not. And it's you and the people you love. Like I said, I wish I would have done as you did and maybe even convince them to do it as well, but I didn't and it's taking lives. I'm telling you this because maybe you can let others know not to be dumb like I was. Um, sorry for the book. Thank you for your time. So, yeah. Um, somebody wishing that they got the vaccine and... Uh, just saying that basically you don't realize that until it's too late so that's just what I wanted to share with you guys um, take it for what it's worth I know a lot of people are against getting the vaccine a lot of people are for it but you know I'm just saying that's somebody sent that to me and uh, for his sake I figured I'd share it so take it for what it's worth <sighs> what is the best gift you have ever received for like a birthday or Christmas. You ever get something you really didn't want? <laughs> I have to pretend to be excited. Um, I have. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible at accepting a gift that I don't like. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It, it's weird. I can't, I can't fake it. I can't fake. I'm, I'm terrible at faking if I get like, so, I, I'll just say like, I, I honestly never really care about what gifts anybody gets me because it's the fact that they got something like that's awesome but um it's just funny though when someone's like really excited about something that they got me and <laughs> i guess i'll just <laughs> get to it um laura is is and she knows this she's really bad at getting me gifts <laughs> she's just she like she knows me better than anyone. She knows me better than anybody out there. And I wish that she would just listen to herself and trust her own instincts and buy me what she thinks that I would actually like. But she gets so stressed out about making sure it's the absolute most perfect thing, which is very sweet, but unfortunately, she will go and talk to all of her friends and get their opinions when her friends don't know me at all. They don't know anything that I would like. <clears throat> and unfortunately, 
she will listen to them. <laughs> like there was, there was one year, she got me. Uh, <laughs> like, I hate basketball. <laughs> If there's one sport, like, I would rather watch golf than watch basketball. Like, I hate basketball. It is not... I also really don't like baseball. <laughs> like, both sports, I would rather... I would rather build a puzzle than sit down and watch those sports. Like, baseball, I feel that baseball is a sport that people really like because they can go and eat shitty food and drink lots of beer and half-ass watch the game. Well, I don't do either one of those things, so then I just have to watch the game and it's boring. Um, basketball, I just, I really couldn't care less. Um, I wrestled in high school. I would love to watch a wrestling match, like, not not like fake wrestling, I mean like, like Olympic wrestling. That stuff is great. Um, I, I love, I love watching wrestling. Um, I watch that all, like, anytime, like, college wrestling is, is, you know, on TV, I'll watch that all the time. Um, but anyways, so for Christmas one year, um, it, it might have been the last time that we actually specifically got presents for each other, <laughs> or that she got presents for me, because I still give her presents because I know what she likes <laughs> and and I give good presents um but one year she got us <laughs> one year she got us bulls tickets which cool it's the bulls and I've never been to a basketball game before but it's basketball and I, I hate it. So, <laughs> so she got basketball tickets to go watch the Bulls. I don't even know who they were playing, but <laughs> we went and uh, <laughs> we went and um, I don't even think we stayed for the whole thing. Mostly because it was just, I mean, it was, it just, what it wasn't fun. Um, because we were like seated, we were like eye level with, we were eye level with the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the like scoreboard in the middle of the whole freaking thing. We were like eye level with that. So I have bad eyesight as it is. So I couldn't even like look and see what was like going on on the actual floor clear enough. I was just sitting there like watching the TV in the middle of the court which, like, takes away the whole point of even being there, I feel. Um, because now I'm watching it at TV while I'm there. Watching it on TV while being there. When I technically should be watching it live in front of me down, you know, on the thing. But that's probably one of the worst gifts I've ever gotten. Because <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, I remember opening it and just being like, oh. And, I, like, like I said, I'm terrible at, 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 like, trying to fake that I like something. So I remember opening it, and I was just like, do you like basketball? <laughs> and <laughs> I don't remember what, she was just kind of like, she didn't even like basketball, really. Like, she likes watching Michigan play basketball, but it was so funny. Um, yeah, so... It was definitely one of the most memorable gifts because I was just like, what the fuck is... This? Really? We both hate basketball. We both hate professional basketball and we're going to go try to sit through a game when, you know, I don't drink. I don't eat crap food. So, yeah. It was just really funny. Um, pro probably one of the most memorable gifts... That was a favorite gift that I got was it was probably like God, how long ago was that? I feel like it was like seven years ago or something. Um I don't even remember which one it was. 
It was... I, it was totally unexpected. Um, so, like, usually for Christmas, I go home uh, to Oklahoma and, you know, stay at my brother's house with, with his family. And, and he got me a PlayStation 4 for Christmas. Like, it was like seven or eight years ago. And I was like, I was so shocked. I was like, I was like, what, what, what the hell? <laughs> I was so, I was so surprised. Like, I, I had no clue that he was going to do that. And, uh, yeah, uh, that that was probably one of the, like, most unsuc un unexpected, but probably the most favorite at the same time. It was like, holy crap, like, because, I don't know, something like that, like, those <laughs> gifts like that are gifts, like, when you're a kid... Are, are things that you just like dream of always getting it's like we're adults and and he gave me that and i was like i was like holy shit like what are you what are you doing <laughs> and uh yeah that that was that was pretty uh that was pretty funny um but anyways I still have it too. It's in my closet because <laughs> I have a PlayStation Five now. But, anyways, um, that was a good question. That was funny to think about all that. All right, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm sweating my ass off in here. <laughs> um, I thought of another one. Another bad... <laughs> another bad gift that Lord got me. And it was more just, like, confusing. <laughs> and it was actually very recent. Um, when was it? I think it was for la my birthday last year. I was, so, I was just so confused by what her strategy <laughs> was, what she was trying to do. Um, <laughs> but she, 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 you know, when, you know how, I don't know, probably a lot of you guys don't, um, how sometimes like parents for their kid, when they're like a year old or two years old or whatever, they'll make like a poster and it'll be like, my name is this, I'm this many months old or whatever, I like to do this, I like to eat this, and blah blah blah. She made, <laughs> she made a poster like that for me at 34 years old and like hung it up in the living room. I don't remember what else was with it, but like that was, that was there. And I remember seeing like, I didn't, I didn't get it. It didn't click in my head that that's what she was doing. It was like making a baby poster for me. And like thinking about that, it's like, okay, that's, that's funny. But I didn't realize that. I didn't know that's what it was. And I like came out, I remember like going into the living room and seeing it and just being like, cause it, it was just like, uh, like listed on it. It was just like, I like bodybuilding. I like lifting weights. I like eating protein. I like blah, blah, blah. And it almost, like, reading it, I was like, it almost felt like she was making fun of me. I was like, is this, is this like a joke? What is this? I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> so I was just kind of like, I really didn't even sort of acknowledge it. I was just kind of like, I guess that's nice. Okay. Um, 
And then... And then she got out, like, later on that afternoon, she got out the cake. And she brought this... <laughs> she brought this cake out. And so I've already got in my head. I was like, what is this? What is this poster? Like, I don't, I don't get it. So I'm already thinking, I was like, is she like trying to tell me like this is stupid or, or what's going on? Then she brings out this cake and like opens it up and <laughs> it's like got this, this guy on the top doing like bench press, like this big, like, What's that stuff called? Fondit? Or whatever it is? She's got like this character on top in a gym, like doing bench press and all this stuff. And I saw it and I was just kind of like... I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't... I was more like... I felt like I was more annoyed. Because I was just like... I was like... I can't even remember what I said. I just saw it. And I was just kind of like... Uh, why? <laughs> because... I like... I, I, I like I like cake, sure. Um, but just get, get, me a, get me a plain fucking cake that's gonna taste good. <laughs> and that's probably what made it worse. Was it had all this shit on it. And so we... We cut, we cut into the cake, and we go to eat it, and it does not taste good. But it looked pretty, <laughs> and, and it just, it was just like, it was just like twisting the dagger into poor Laura, because she, she was way more excited about this stuff than I was, and I wasn't getting it, because I was just kind of like, I felt, I, I halfway felt like I was getting made fun of for being into what I do and everything. When I know that she wouldn't really do that, but I was like looking at everything and I was like, what the fuck is going, what is this? <laughs> Cause you got like the baby poster and then this this ridiculous cake. God, I can't even remember what I said when I saw it. I was just kind of like in, in like shock of just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it just caught me so off guard. I couldn't hide my emotion when I saw it. And couldn't be like, I don't know, women, I feel that women are way more into birthdays than men are. And uh, <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, which takes me back to the point of next weekend, we're streaming the New York Pro here. And she, uh, she got mad last night that I told her, I was like, I can't miss that. Like, I have to be here. I have to do that. Like, it's important. That's going to get a lot of views. It's going to get a lot of people here that could possibly join the membership. And, like, it's going to be it's it's going to be something big for the channel to do. Because we haven't had any shows since last year. Um, I said, I have to do it. I can't, I can't miss that. And it's her brother's 40th birthday. And I was like, no, no guy... Right, exactly. Mason, no guy really, really wants to do something for their birthday. Like, no guy seriously wants a, like, I don't know, maybe when you're in your 20s, you want to, like, party and get drunk, but but everybody was asking her brother, like, I felt like all the women were, like, badgering him about, well, let's go do this, let's do this, and, and he didn't want to do anything. He wanted to, he wanted to grill in his backyard with his friends. And they were talking about going up north to Michigan and renting a house and doing all this bullshit. And it came down to it that he didn't want to. He wanted to stay home and he wanted to grill with his friends. And so then we decided, okay, well, how about we all go over to Laura's parents' house and we'll grill there and have like a small family get together there. And, and, uh, yeah, so I was just like, I don't, I don't need to go to this. It's a man's birthday. Like... He's not going to be upset if I don't show up. Like, the only people that care about this are the women. The women want to have a party, and he just wants to eat food and drink beer. So, like, um, yeah, I don't know. We argued a little bit about that last night. Um, it's just funny. I don't know. It's funny how 
all that is. <clears throat> I am not being the bad guy. Um, I've got, I have a job to do. I have to do my job. Um, plus, it's a man's birthday. It's a man's birthday. Like, let's be real. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, Jake, you're, you're not mentioning here the gauge of the needle. Like, you can't use a 30 gauge needle in a 3 mil syringe. It just doesn't work. So. Yeah, 25 gauge, you can use a 3 mil. But I would always go 1 inch for sure. Yes, I am from Oklahoma. I ended up here because there was nothing for me to do in Oklahoma. Uh, been a long time. What are you running currently? Probably the same thing that I was running last time you saw me. It hasn't changed in seven weeks. So um, it's still 500 test, 500 Primo, 500 EQ, 500 MPP, 300 Master on. Marcus Rolls transformation, he wasn't ever lean, but maintained this tight and dense look while continued to grow. How necessary is it to get really lean before starting? Necessary? I mean, it has more to do with, uh, it has more to do with how many side effects do you want to deal with? Like, Marcus Rule is a one in a million, you know. He knew what he wanted to do at that time. He didn't, I guarantee he didn't give two shits about side effects when he started. I guarantee he didn't care about side effects. Problem is, is, most of you guys do. Most of you guys don't want to be bloated. Most of you guys don't want to get gyno. Most of you guys don't want acne. Most of you guys want to keep all your hair. I guarantee he didn't give two shits what happened. He knew he was going to be big as fuck, and he wanted to be big as fuck, and he ran everything under the sun. Guarantee he did not care about side effects. So... If you don't want side effects and you want pure growth, then yes, it's 100% necessary. Get super fucking lean before you start. You'll be much more happier with your results if you get extremely lean before starting steroids. Otherwise, the more fat you have on your body, the more side effects you're going to get. But again, if you want to be like Marcus Rule and be a mass monster freak, you won't care what side effects you experience. And that's it. Um, test goes in very smoothly with 25 gauge. Personally, I didn't like to push in more than half a mil. Yeah. Um, how come my CMP and CBC blood test are the same results? Um, CMP and CBC are two different things. I don't know what you're talking about. What body selection did you choose? What what body selection did you choose for those tests? I have no idea what you're talking about. Took my ex-wife four years to realize to not do anything on my birthday. 
I can't wait till Laura realizes that. Like, I, it, <laughs> like this year, like my birthday is September 6th. The show is August 28th. So I guess that's cool. Sure, I'll probably have cake on my birthday. Um, also, what I want, though, is just a plain fucking cake that tastes delicious. That's all I want. I don't, I don't, I don't need it to look any, like, I just want frosting and cake <laughs> and ice cream. Like that, that is it. That's all I want. I don't want balloons. I don't want a poster. I don't want anything. Everything that I want, I get myself. <laughs> I don't need her getting too excited about something that she doesn't know if I'm going to like or not. I don't need, I don't want her to get me anything ever, never, never again. It causes more problems. <laughs> it causes more bad than good. Because she gets super excited about it. And then when she gives it to me, if I'm not on the same level as her, she feels bad. <laughs> like it was something stupid. And I'm just like, you've got to stop this. Like, you have got... I seriously don't want anything. So... All right, you are gone. <laughs> You're annoying. Um, <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yeah. Uh, can you reuse syringes for injecting on different days? And can you reuse drawing needles? I saw you had one stuck in your vial. Yeah, um, this is my drawing needle. This is, this is the needle that I draw everything with. It stays right there. I never take it out been doing that for at least five years it stays there like I, I never take that out do I reuse syringes for injecting no or, or, or I, I no I don't um, not on different days I'll, I'll use the same syringe and attach a different needle to it um, for the same shots in a day but no after that day I throw it away can you reuse drawing needles? Yes. Even if he did want to do something, that's her brother. No, you're not. Not not yours. That's not your fault obligation. I mean, the thing is, we're getting married in December, so it is my family too, <laughs> you know. Um, but the key statement here is, brother. It's a man. It's a brother. It's a man. Men don't care. I, like I said, he wants to hang out with his friends, drink beer and eat pizza. He, like, he does not care. <laughs> he does not, he is not going to be heartbroken if I don't show up. So, <clears throat> I got a job to do. <clears throat> That's something else that a lot of people don't understand about, about like this industry, about YouTube, about social media, like... You have to, like, this is not going to be like this forever. This may get better. It may get worse. The thing is, is right now, things are going very well with everything. Um, if you don't capitalize on that in this industry, like... It, it, it can fade and it can end, you know? It's not, like I said, it's not always going to be like this, where I'm making as much as I want with this, you know? Um, I have to take advantage of the fact that things are going this way. Like, I have to take advantage of that. That's one reason why I so badly want to move. I want to leave here. I want to move... I want to move to Michigan, get a house with land, maybe two acres, um, and build a gym on it so that I can actually get you guys, so that I can actually film great gym training content where I'm in the gym and talking and explaining stuff and showing things because I can't do that here. I can't go into a gym where it's public and like set, like set my fucking camera up like my nice camera, I can't set things up, if I can get a mic out, be talking to the camera and explaining and showing things that I do in the gym. 
I feel like that would be the next step for my channel, is going all in on something like that. And, uh, you know, like, doing these live streams, like, my dream is this would be, like, this would be happening in the gym. Back behind me, you would be able to see the entire gym. This would be on a wall in the, in the like, building that I would build out on our land, where the gym is in the background. My desk is over here. This is kind of where I would work to do, you know, my editing, my, my live streams. You'd be able to see the gym back behind. Like, that, that would be, I feel like that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, then be able to like film everything that I film would be in there, like in that building, build out a small kitchen off to the side, be able to do all my cooking videos and shit like that in there. Like, I feel like that's the next step for me. And the fact that we can't, we can't go do that sucks. Like, like I'm ready to do it. We could totally go do it. Like. Like, we could. <laughs> um, you know, if we sold this place, we could totally buy a nice house with a decent amount of land. And, you know, like, I've already, I've already picked out all the equipment that I want. I've already gotten a quote for it. I know exactly how much it's going to cost. I mean, it's going to cost $30,000 to, f like, get exactly every piece of equipment I want. I, all what I need is a building that's, like, 40 foot by 50 foot. To be able to fit everything that I want in it and have space to do, you know, the other things, uh, like this kind of stuff. Um, like, I feel like that's the next step for me, and I'm, I get, I'm, I'm getting somewhat anxious about the fact that, you know, like, what if, what if it's too late? You know, what if a year from now, two years from now, uh, my channel starts dying? It starts going downhill. People start unsubscribing. People start leaving the membership. You know, I miss the boat, essentially, is what I'm scared of happening at this point. So, so yeah. I mean, I'm going to prioritize what I can accomplish here and now with my channel. And I'm going to skip out on a man's birthday party, <laughs> you know? Because, like, this is... Like, th like, this can be everything <laughs> for me, you know? It's just, I don't know. She doesn't... Unfortunately, Laura doesn't see it that way, you know? She doesn't... She doesn't... I don't know. She just doesn't see it that way, and it's really... she. It's really hard to get her to have the same mindset as I do on it <laughs> um, yeah like you would you would think because we've come so far and then I've gotten to a place where I've been able to quit my job and do this like full time working on this kind of stuff you think that would be enough for her to be like all in on it but she's still not all in on it it sucks you know, because it's just, it's, like, this is, <laughs> this, this can be a very big deal, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's funny because, like, so often she'll just be like, like, there is a, there, one of my rest days the other day, I watched, I watched a lot of episodes of this show that we're watching, or, or that I was watching, and she sort of wanted to watch it, but I watched a whole shitload of episodes of it, and she was like, you didn't do shit all day, and it's like, it's my job. <laughs> my job on rest days is to recover. Like, that's, that's my job. My job right now is to maximize my potential for training and building my body as much as possible so that I can do well at the show, so that I can... I can put into practice what I'm preaching to all you guys and show you guys that I'm not full of shit on what I do and uh, can help build everything out from that. And it's like, this is like, my entire day is what I get paid for. And, you know, she just doesn't look at it the same way. She kind of, I feel like it gets looked down upon. 
when it's making four times more money than what she's making as a teacher. So it's like, what? how can you not, how can you not, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, re I'm ready to move, like, right now. Like, I want to leave, like, tomorrow. But she doesn't want to because she doesn't want to leave her friends and she loves her job. Which I understand loving your job. She's a teacher. She teaches second grade. Um, yeah, it, it's just... It's like, well, the, the thing is, is what I'm doing now, what I'm doing now can be so much more, can end up being so much bigger than just, than just this. <clears throat> Yes, I'm, I'm making, four, yes, four times more than a teacher. Like, I've told her, I've told her, like, several times, like, because she, she, she says, you know, like, you don't do anything all day. I'm like, I do my job. I was like, if you're jealous, by all means, quit your job. We can totally get away with doing what I'm doing. You don't need your job, but she wants to work. I'm like, you don't need to. Like, we're, it, it, it's fine. You don't need to. Let's get out of here. <laughs> but she, she's like, I love my job, and I don't want to leave my friends yet. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I get nervous. I, it's just something, this has been something that's been on my mind a lot, is that I just, I don't, I don't want to miss the bus. <laughs> I don't want to miss the bus on this. I want to be able to get out of here, build my gym. Like, I'm... It's ready. Everything's, everything's ready. We just need to, we just need to be there. If she wants to work, then that's on her. Don't get jealous. Yeah. Well, yeah. Work smarter, not harder. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Is I'm like trying to. Like that's the thing. Is like if we moved, if we moved tomorrow. Like I said, she totally doesn't have to get a job. We could move, she, she could just fucking sit around and do nothing, and I wouldn't, it would be totally fine with me. But that's the thing, is like, we could move, and sh there's no rush for her to go get a job. So she could fucking chill, and take as much time as she needs to find the perfect school that, that wants her, you know? Um, and she could start looking as soon as we get there, you know? If Laura agreed, would you do it immediately? Yes. I, I would totally... If she... Yeah. Absolutely. If she said yes... I'm, I... I would do... I would... Like I said, I'm 100% ready to go. The money is just sitting there waiting to be put into a gym. Like, the entire thing is ready. Like, I'm... All's what I... All's what we have to do is... Is... Is do it. Uh... Like, I'm, I'm ready to go. <clears throat> it's, in my vision, it's the next step to growing this whole thing. I mean, it's, it's the next step for me to, you know, take this to another level. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> because otherwise, I, I just feel like I, I can't, I, I'm sort of limited in what I, what I feel I can do. It's annoying. I'm like, because I know what I want to, <clears throat> I know what I want to make. I know what kind of videos I want to do, and I feel that the fact that I can't do that, because I can't do that, I can't do that at quads. Like they don't, no public gym is like okay with people filming. Like they allow it, but you know the way that I would want to do it. Like they're they're no they they wouldn't they wouldn't be okay with it because there's gonna be other people there and other people don't want to be on camera and that whole thing so 
Uh, yeah. yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not anything, it's, it's not anything that would bother that, you know, getting married, like, um, <laughs> I, I don't, she has said she wants to do one more year of school and then we can go, um, so, that's where we're at, is get married in December, she finishes out next school year, and then we leave. Um, so, you know, she has said that we are going to go there, it's just, I just wish we could do it yesterday, as opposed to next year, because it just... The thing that gets me is I'm scared I'm scared that it's gonna be too late, you know. That's my thought. Is just I'll I'm scared that it's just gonna be too late. You know. I feel like if I did it right now, if I started going that direction right now <clears throat> What's funny is we were looking we like Laura's parent <clears throat> Laura's whole family lives in Michigan. They found us a place. Like, uh, they found us a place that already had a garage built that would have been perfect to put a gym in. Um, like, a separate garage from the house, and then the house had its own garage. I was ready, I was 100% I was ready to buy that place, go all in on it, order the gym, get everything in there, and start doing it. And, uh, and I was willing to live there and be doing my whole thing while she finishes up her time here and gets everything she wants out of it, you know? It's, it's, yeah. Um, but, like, her, her family's all in on it, too. Like, they, they want us to move back. Um, so, unfortunately, that house sold uh, about a month ago. And I haven't been able to find another place out there that would have been as perfect as that. So I have a feeling that I'm going to have to build my own my own building, you know, next to a house that has some land. But yeah, that's the that's the only issue is that I just don't I just I don't think it'll be too late. You know, it's just how I want to just, I just want to move on. You know, I feel like doing that and, and, and going there and doing it would just be turning the page. And I'm ready to turn the page because I feel like this, everything that we're doing, I just feel like it's kind of stagnant right now because there's not really a whole lot else I can do besides filming bullshit around my house, filming the crap videos at the gym that I can do where I'm just like setting a camera up, fucking doing a set and, and moving on. And then doing my live streams. Like, I feel like I'm just, this is where I'm at at this point. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of people are hesitant to change. I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm definitely different in that sense that, I like change uh, because because I know what comes from it. I know that typically when you make big changes, typically it's, uh, you know, it's hard at first, sure, but it usually leads to something very positive, you know. Um, but I get it. I get why people hate change. You know, they get in their routine. They get into their life. I mean, some people live their whole fucking lives not changing. You know, some people live their entire life, and that and that's totally fine. You know, that that's if they're fine with that, if they're you know, as long as they're happy, that's all that matters. But, um, like, I don't know. I just I feel that there's better things that I can do. There's more that I can be doing that can build 
this whole thing out so much more. And, uh, yeah, that's where we're at at this point. I went on, <clears throat> I went on for 30 minutes babbling about this bullshit. And it came from fucking birthday and Christmas present questions. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, there's a, there's a big part of me that thinks everything will be fine, but on the other hand, I just, I just, I don't want to take the chance, like, I'm ready, I'm just ready to do it now, and move on, and just start working on that next chapter, and keep it going, you know, whereas, <laughs> Laura has a very hard time with change, she doesn't, she does not like change at all. She likes, she likes to, uh, she likes routine. She like, li like I said, you know, she, she doesn't want to leave her friends. She doesn't want to leave her job. I'm like, the friends will be there if they're real friends. <laughs> You'll always have the real friends. If they, if, if they fade when we move, then how important were they really? You know, it is what it is. You'll, you, the friends that matter, you'll keep. And you can always get another job. Like, there there will always be another place to teach kids how to do shit. <laughs> so, um, I know. Exactly. We gotta make the moves. I, I'm... I don't know. I'm trying. We'll get there eventually. It's just... I'm just... I'm just... I'm so ready to do it. Right now. Because like I said, I, I just feel like... I hate when I feel like I'm spinning my wheels with everything. You know? I, I hate... Like, sure, the, mem the, the, the channel's still growing slowly. My memberships are still going up slowly. But I just feel like everything could be doing so much better if we moved on. And, you know took the next step. If she wants to work, then that's her. Work smarter. I think you found a niche and can certainly build upon. Women are typically risk averse. Teaching can be so stressful and underappreciated. Hell yeah, she'll, she's jealous. I don't know if she's... I don't... I mean, yeah, it's it's very... Her job is, like, stressful, and, you know... It's, it's certainly hard. And it's what she wants to do. But, yeah, I mean... Who wouldn't want to get paid to... <laughs> work on their body. <laughs> uh, second cycle, 600 test or 350 test, 250 deca. I would probably go this route. I'd love to try it because of the joint pains I've had. See, in this kind of situation, um, this is like what I was talking about earlier where 1 plus 1 equals 3, you know, you're going to get way more out of 350 test, 250 deca, as opposed to 600 test. And, you know, depending on how well you handle nandrolone, probably less side effects. Just think of it as a few more cycles, and you go. Uh, yeah, and she can stay there. Get in on Michigan now before it blows up. I mean, that would be awesome, having your own gym, having all the equipment available at any time without waiting. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would have, I, I like, I literally have it all mapped out on exactly <laughs> what it would look like. You know, I have all the pieces of equipment already picked out. It, like, it's it's ready to go. Can you reuse vials that you store your oils in? Yes, I do. 
my buddy does electrician out there as well, and my sister does realtor shit out there. Let me know. <laughs> nice. Is it possible to lower cholesterol and LDL by good diet and cardio while on cycle? Yes. Um, have you seen the movie Never Back Down? I've heard of it, but I can't say that I've actually seen it. Well, I enjoyed the military, always new things, new places, every few months was great. Getting out of the city will be the best decision you've ever made. The only thing that remains is turning the page. Yeah. Can you answer my previous question? Can you can you post your previous question? Uh, where is it? How far back is it? We bullshit for a long time. Um, can over dieting cause permanent low T? Also, does your membership cover everything for a what? newbie should use like which syringes and stuff like that um it well yeah um here like if you go to let me bring this up if you go to my channel um if you go to playlists members only like here, here are the videos you get on the on the um, membership. Um, so yeah, for for new people, first cycle, second, third cycle, intermediate cycles. You know, basically talking about all that stuff, how to set up your injections for the week, um, um, how where to do injections. You know, and then of course, if you have any questions, you can email me and ask questions as long as you are on the email membership. Um, if you're interested in homebrewing, you need to be on the homebrew membership, and you'll be able to view these homebrew videos. Um, but yeah, like if you want to view those videos, you need to be on the members only video access membership. You'll be able to view those videos except for the homebrew videos, but you won't be able to ask me any questions. So if you are on the unlimited email membership, you can ask me any and all questions that you might have, like with regards to what needles and whatever you need or, or sources for stuff. If you get this membership, you can view the videos that aren't homebrew members, homebrew videos and ask me questions that don't relate to homebrew stuff at all. However, if you do want to homebrew and ask me questions about homebrewing, then you need to be on the homebrew membership, obviously. Um, and then if you are like Mason and just love texting me about anything and everything, which is, is great, we're best friends, you can join the unlimited texting membership and text me at any time about anything you could ever dream of wanting to talk about. So um, that's the memberships in a nutshell. Um, yeah, if you get on any of the email memberships or the email membership or higher, I'll, I'll answer anything that, anything you want. And that's... I mean, that's the main reason to stay on the email membership, you know? It's not... I would say having access to being able to ask me any questions is mostly what you're paying for there. Um, because so many people will come up with questions that they f didn't think to ask before, and... They won't be on the membership anymore, and they'll try to ask, and I'm like, dude, you're not you're not part of the email membership. I, I'm sorry, but that's part of the deal. Like that's why that membership is there. If you're on that membership, you can ask me these questions. You know, like somebody was on the homebrew membership once, and and I uh, they they dropped the homebrew membership, and then you know months later tried to ask me a homebrew question. I was like, dude, you're not on the homebrew membership. I can't I can't answer this question. Like, this question is worth money. And he was like, I was on the homebrew membership for a month. And I was like, that's a reason to stay on the homebrew membership. You're not on it anymore. I can't answer those questions if you're not on it anymore. I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I feel like we're like halfway friends, you know, here in the chat. But at the same time, it is a business, you know, like, 
sure, we can joke around, fuck around, talk about whatever, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to business, you got to be, you know, with 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 my business, you know. Um, so yeah, that's the membership stuff in a nutshell. Unfortunately, she isn't like me who doesn't give a shit about friends. This is very much like me. I mean, I am very uh I'm very um much of a loner. Um, and I don't mind it. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I mean, I have, I have friends, I have very close friends, and, uh, they know who they are, and it's, it's tough to get into that circle, you know, um, I can't, I honestly can't say that any of the people that I've met in Chicago like the only the only person that I feel that I've like become real friends with like real friends and beyond of course is Laura Everybody else that I've met here, you know, just, there's always been something um, where I felt like they were more so my friend for other reasons. Um, you know, like the only way that I met a lot of people are through work. You know, other trainers that I, I worked next to. And then when I switched gyms and, and stopped working at that gym and moved to another gym, all those, you know, sort of like shallow friendships completely dropped off. You know, I don't I don't really talk to any of them anymore. Um, you know, I like some of them will... Catch, try to catch up with me on like Instagram or whatever, and I'll shoot the shit with them for a little bit. But you know, like we'll always there. There's some of those people that I'll have a, a very small connection with, but I would probably never go out to like eat with them or something like that. You know, I wouldn't want to like meet up with them and have a conversation. <laughs> you know. Um, so, and I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, when I first moved here, I went out a lot with a lot of the guys that I was like working with, working next to. And sure, it was fun, but again, it was very like superficial friendships and I felt, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like it was like a real, real friendships because there was sh shit going on that real friends don't do to each other, you know? So, I don't know. I'm, it's very hard to make friends with me. <laughs> um, and that probably mostly is my fault um, because I'm very, even though I may not seem very closed off, <laughs> in these live streams, because I talk about fucking everything in these live streams. Um, it's very hard to do this. It's very hard to do this with someone that is not... I don't know, because everything that I talk about is like my fuck... This, like, this is everything that I talk about is my life, you know? And if somebody is not like, interested in what I'm interested in, which there's not... There, that, I mean, that's the plain, simple fact, is not very many people that you know in real life are interested in what I do in my real life. So, like, steroids, <laughs> working out, food, you know, focusing on all this stuff. Um, so, I'm sure that a lot of you guys, we probably could be good friends in real life because we could talk about this shit in real life, <laughs> but... 
none of you guys fucking live around here. <laughs> so, um, and that's just it. Like, I don't, I don't know anybody in person that I can talk to about this kind of stuff. Or, or that will openly talk back and forth, like have a conversation about these kinds of things, you know? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, you can do a whole series on YouTube, building a home gym. Yeah, exactly. What age group does Laura teach? I, uh, it's second grade. She goes back and forth between second and first grade, depending on the year. I think next year they're going to move her back to first grade, but... Yeah, she likes working with um, elementary kids. Do you just get new rubber tops for the vials that you reuse? And do you wash the vials after it's empty? No, no, I do not. I... Uh, I replace the rubber tops on those big media bottles when the top breaks. Um, sometimes, you know, when you take the top off and put it back on, so sometimes, like, that weakens the, the, the top, and there will be a time, eventually, where you screw it on and the top just breaks right off. Um, and that's when it gets replaced. <laughs> um, otherwise, I just keep... <laughs> I keep refilling the same media, vi media vials, media bottles, with the same product that was in it before. I've been using the same media bottles for a while. I've been using them for a while. I just keep refilling them and refilling them and going on. So, I don't clean them. Because the only thing that's ever in them is something that's sterile. So, yeah, I, I've, I can't even... I would guess I've had the media bottles that I have and have been reusing them and refilling them. It's probably been at least four years. I bought a Rogue Monster Rack with basically every option imaginable. can let you know what not to waste your money on. I was looking at those, you know, I was looking at the Rogue, uh, what is it, the Banshee Rack? Um, and I, I've already talked myself out of it. I don't think there, there's a lot of things on there where I'm kind of like, I don't think I'll want that, you know? Um, and I actually ended up, I ended up pretty much going 100% with, uh, prime fitness, uh, uh, equipment, like a hundred, hundred percent prime equipment. Like, cause they've got, they've got racks, they've got cables, they've got all the machines as we all know. Um, yeah, pretty much my entire gym is basically going to be all prime equipment, and then there, there'll be a couple, you know, odds and ends that prime doesn't make um, that I'll put in it. It just sucks, like, living in the city, because I've, I've looked. I've looked to be like, what's it cost to rent a building in the city? And I can just build my gym now. It's... Yeah, those trolley arm things. Yeah, I saw those and I was like, those are kind of cool. And then I, after a while, I was like, eh, maybe not. Maybe those would be a bad idea. So I'm glad you said that because, yeah, I, I looked at them and I was like, at first I was like, this looks cool. And then I was like, because I was thinking in my head, like, this could be like a hammer strength replacement. And then I was like, eh, it's kind of a janky hammer strength replacement. <laughs> um... But anyways, I looked at, like, what would it cost to rent rent a space, you know, around the city somewhere. The belt squat's awesome, though. Yeah, I definitely liked the look of that. But it's so fucking expensive to rent a goddamn spot in the city that would be able to accommodate what I want. Like, fucking, like, seven to $10,000 a month. To rent a, a, a like a warehouse to fill with my gym equipment, I was like, "Well, fuck that. That's that's awful. <laughs> like, I can't, I, I can't do that. I'm not gonna pay rent. Like, cause this this building, like this gym that I'm gonna make, is not for other people. It's for myself to do my own shit. You know, uh, I'm not gonna pay ten thousand dollars a month to rent a building. Yeah, horrible." Um, 
so. Oh, sometimes nobody shows up and you automatically win. <laughs> Jason. Uh, yeah. Your favorite exercise for each muscle group? That's a long question, dude. Favorite exercise for each muscle group? All right. All right, let's do it. Favorite exercise for chest? I'm going to have to say my favorite exercise for chest right now is is the uh, a hammer strength incline press while wearing a slingshot is my favorite chest exercise. Favorite shoulder exercise is just a basic cable lateral raise. Um, favorite trap exercise is, is dumbbell shrugs. I like dumbbell shrugs more than barbell shrugs because whenever I do barbell shrugs, I just feel like I'm racking myself. It sucks. Um, dumbbells are just way more comfortable. Of course, you could use a trap bar, but again, dumbbells are just easier. Um, favorite, favorite lat exercise. Um, I really like the hammer strength low row machine where you, you can like grab it like that. It's chest supported and you pull those like to your hips. Um, um, for like mid back, I mean that same machine is actually good for mid back too. If you just grip a little bit higher, you can pull and focus more on your rhomboids. Um, yeah. Um, Abs, I like doing a basic cable crunch or hanging leg raises. Um, biceps, just a single cable uh, a cable curl. Um, triceps, yeah, just a basic cable push down. Um, a compound leg exercise. I really like hack squats. I'm a big fan of hack squats, but regular squats are also awesome, but... I like hack squats a lot. They seem to be my favorite there. Um, quads, using the prime leg extension machine is great. Hamstrings, using the line leg curl prime machine is, is great. And calves, I prefer a standing calf raise to a seated calf raise. I think that's it. Here's a good time stampable question. Why do people sweat so much when using Tren? That's a good question. Um, the answer to it is because of, I believe the answer is because of de novo lipogenesis, I believe. De novo lipogenesis. Boom. Um, yeah. Um, so Trenbolone upregulates de novo lipogenesis, which basically takes, like, the easiest way to explain it is your body will take the carbs that you eat, it will utilize them, and then any extra carbs that your body doesn't need, it will break them down and burn them off as heat energy. So if you eat a shitload of carbs while you're on trend, your body temperature will go up and you'll start to sweat a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, your body utilizes carbs very, very well while on Trenbolone. Like, that's that's going to be one reason why it is a very solid cutting product because it will help you utilize carbs better. The downside of that is that you can go hypoglycemic very easily while on Tren. Um, and the other downside of that is it is difficult to gain, to, to bulk on Tren because all the carbs that you eat over 
Your body's going to just burn them right off. Your body's going to lose it through heat energy. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said in a video. That's, that's why it's not a good bulker is because it, it tends to burn off the carbs that are too much as heat energy. So yeah, lots of sweating with that. Uh, what is the highest dose of PEDS you've taken? Uh, years ago, I believe I've gone up to three to four grams, somewhere in that range. Three, three to four grams. I think I, I hit four grams before. I, I honestly can't remember, though. But it was definitely up around that range. Ever considered coming out with some merch to sell? Yeah. Someday. It's, it's on the list of things. No such thing as friends in business. That's very true. Are there any private gyms in Chicago? I'm sure they would let you record in private gyms. It's a thought. It's a thought, but at the same time, there's not going to be... I just don't feel it'll be worth the money. To like rent out a private gym because number one as far as I know there are no private gyms that will have all the equipment that I want <laughs> so I don't know I just I I know how I want to do it I know what I want to buy I know like I have a vision and if I can't do it that way I don't want to do it at all <laughs> is kind of the way that I, I go about it is like I want to do it this way and if I can't do it that way Everything else is just shit, and I don't care. <laughs> so, um, it sucks. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a shitty mindset. <laughs> the thing is, is that I see friends as a big block that will interfere with my daily program and stop me from being 24-7 on my game. It's rare to become real, real friends with people that you work with. That's, that's a good point. It's acquaintance versus actual friendship. People mix the two, and friends are hard to come by. Talk to Broderick. No. Having your own gym is nice. My gym is small, but I have the necessary equipment I need. Bought it all used. Do not get the... Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your upper limit of progesterone without having sides? No idea. I Progesterone is one of the things that I honestly don't check. Um, I've never noticed any progesterone side effects. It's not something that I concern myself with. Um, I have too many subscriptions as is, so here's five dollars. Nobody cares, work harder. Ah, thank you, sir. Sleeveless hoodies. Make some bomb hoodies. Sleeveless hoodies. I'll buy your merch. Sleeveless hoodies would be cool. I like sleeveless hoodies. I have a, I have a lot of them. A lot of Nike ones and Redcon one. Are you running higher gear than last year? Yes. Last year's cut, I was on 600 trend and 600 test the whole way through. So, much more than last year. If my arms are lagging, do I add an arm day or do I focus them more on push and pull days? You know, I, tr I messed around with this. I tried to add in an arm day and I honestly feel that it didn't really make much of a difference. I feel that I'm better off just adding, having arms on push and pull days because then I can just, I, 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 if, if I don't add in the extra arm day, then going through the rotation, it's one less day and I can go through the rotation more often. Whereas if you have an arm day, that's an extra day in between when you actually get back to doing that push day and that pull day, you know, so... Does the chat block links? Yes. I have <clears throat> I have no control over that. If you if you put a link in, yeah, it automatically won't show up. Um, uh, what was the time when you were growing the most in size and strength? I mean, I would say this last year. <laughs> I went from two thirty to two seventy five, lean. It, that's the best I've ever done. I can't really get better than that. Liver, what, 
had a shirt that said nobody cares work harder and thought I was yours. <laughs> Live read. What is that? Can I go to it? All right, that doesn't look right. Oh. Hold up. I see. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Somebody just bought that shirt. It said, nobody cares. Work harder. <laughs> oh, there it is. No, that is not my shirt. Also, I say nobody cares. Train harder. So, maybe that's why they can get away with that. <laughs> it's not bad, though. It's a good idea. Uh, are you satisfied with today's chat? Yeah, it was pretty fun. We hit some really random areas. Yeah, definitely when I started working with a coach, things got better. Do you think an eight-day split, push-pull legs, rest, push-pull legs, rest, then repeat is smart? No. No. I think both options are stupid. Both options are dumb. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. All right, guys. Um, we've been on here way too long. I'm going to get off of here. So um, I need to start prepping my next meal and getting Laura's dinner put together because that's what I do so anyways glad you guys got a little laugh out of that why why though I can't go to the gym four days a week I'll go insane Edgar that's that's uh, that's a problem here let's let's give you guys another one um, I love this one. Wrong, sir. Wrong. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> That's my favorite. I, li I like that one, and this First, one is just so Take good. a big step back and literally <laughs> fuck your own face. <laughs> uh, that one's probably my favorite one. Tom Cruise was so funny playing that character. <laughs> um, I forget which one some of these <laughs> I forget what some of these are uh, what's this one, one ugly <laughs> motherfucker uh, I know what that one is if I wanted a joke I'd follow you into the john and watch you take a leak what's this you one this one's hilarious stuck up Snot nose, English, giant, twerp, scumbag, fuckface, dickhead, asshole. <laughs> uh, did you see the Mortal Kombat movie? Yes, I did. I thought it was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was good. I loved how gory it was. I think they could have done a better job with the story. <laughs> I think they could have done a better job with the story. I thought I thought that the fact that they killed Goro... For, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> I think the fact that 
they got Goro off so easily was kind of sad. I don't know. They, I wish they would have. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The fights were like one minute long. Uh, yeah. I wish they would have like set it up. I wish they would have set it up more like, like a tournament, like an actual tournament, like the game. I loved how gory and like realistic stuff was. I thought it was really cool. But yeah, I agree. They they definitely could have made it. I wish the fighting stuff was a, a little better. Um, I mean, a lot of it was really good though. I guess I really like the story. I just wish, I wish there was more. Like specifically, like one-on-one -on -one fights and stuff. So, yeah, that's true. Um, it would have, yeah, I don't know. They could have, of course, it, it always could have been done better. But I liked it better than the '95 version. <laughs> you know, I thought it was good. I loved the uh, the Scorpion and Sub Zero, like timeline story like rivalry thing i thought that was really cool i thought it was kind of weird though that they had sub-zero being like this ridiculously strong character yeah savior of earth realm was a toothpick indeed he was he looked anorexic <laughs> this is what he looked like <laughs> i thought i thought the the kung lao fatality was probably the best <laughs> that one, that was pretty nasty hanzo's descendant would have been a kang yeah i want to see noob saibot next when sub zero gets brought back to life Yep. Uh, thinking of next cycle, was thinking a high test cycle, 1500 milligrams, or would it be better test DECA EQ combined, 1500 like I usually do? What do you think would be better? Again, like the whole situation where, you know, the whole thing that I keep saying, one plus one equals three, you know, you want to use as much test as you can while not experiencing side effects. If you can go to 1500, if you can go to 1500 and uh, on test and not have side effects, I mean, that's pretty fucking good. Um, but I think you would probably get better results combining a couple different things to give you a total of 1500, in my opinion. No sides on high test. I mean, if you get no sides on 1500, I mean, if it were me, I'd probably go 1500 and then throw in a little something else with it. Kung Lao's flawless victory on Katana was lit. That was, yeah, that was that weird, like, harpy flying around whoever that was should testosterone always be your highest dose compound in any cycle otherwise you experience side effects in my opinion yes I feel like the safest route is to let testosterone be your main compound and then add other stuff in but only use testosterone at a dose that you can handle the most testosterone that I've gone with is 1250. Um, and, you know, no side effects with 1250 tests per week. So that's the most that I've done. That's the most that I've, that's the most that I've tried. Um, I imagine I could probably do 1500 also. But, you know, if I was training myself, if I was coaching myself, that's probably the route that I would go. But since I've got a coach, I'm going to do what my coach says. So... And currently, the way things have been going with my coach, it's always been that way, that testosterone is at least always the highest dose compound or equal to, you know, everything else in the compound, in, in the cycle. 
So, all right, we've been on this way too long, almost three hours now. I got to get off of here. Started at three. It's almost six now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, cardio is nice. I like doing cardio. It's nice forcing myself to get up and start sweating. Um, it's not bad, you know. I like it. It's an off week this week. Yes. Is it driving bananas? No. I, I welcome rest days. I don't, I don't mind it at all. When you need it, you need it. So, yeah. And I feel like I definitely need it. All right. That's it. No more. No more questions. I'm done. Time to go. Here. Well, watch this until this I This man leave. has no dick. Oh, fuck. That's too short. Watch you, this until I leave. Oh, yeah. This one's stupid, good. Stupid, ignorant, son of a bitch, dumb bastard. Jesus Christ, I've met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all. Get over there! <laughs> Alright, I love that one. Alright, I'm gonna get off of here. See you guys later.